Now that you have reached yourself for TCS NQT, it's time to start preparing. But what to prepare and what is the syllabus? To answer all these questions, here's a video regarding all the topics that need to be learned for TCS 2020. First, we have English. There are no specific topics that need to be learned for this section. The questions will be asked on basic English grammar and the questions will be in the form of fill in the blanks. Second, we have the quantitative aptitude. The main topics for this section are discrete mathematics, algebra, arithmetic, trigonometry, and geometry. And each of these sections have the individual subtopics. As for discrete mathematics, we have counting basics that is permutations and combinations. We also have principles of inclusion and exclusion and combinatorial probability. The next we have algebra. The main topics for this section are basic identities, arithmetic and geometric progressions, binomial theorem, roots of polynomial, and we also have mean, median and mode from statistics. The next we have arithmetic. The topics for this section are time and distance, averages and percentages, simple and compound interest, and we also have modular arithmetic. The next we have trigonometry. In trigonometry, we have trigonometric ratios and problems based on trigonometric ratios using heights and distances. The next we have geometry. In geometry, we have the Pythagoras theorem, congruence and similarity of triangles, and we also have areas of geometrical shapes, that is the area of triangle and so on. The next we have the programming logic. The main topics for this section are data structures, algorithms, and programming concepts. Similar to quantitative aptitude, we also have subsections in this. So as for data structures, we have arrays, stacks, cube, list, trees, and hash tables. The next we have algorithms. In algorithms, we have the searching algorithms, sorting algorithms, free traversal, time and space complexity, and dynamic programming. The next major topic is programming concepts. In that we have iteration, recursion, procedural versus object oriented programming, and we also have C language concepts. The thing here is C language concepts is a very vast topic by in and itself. But the main concepts that need to be noted down here are call by value or reference, basic and derived data types, storage classes, scope and visibility, basics of pointers, header files, library functions, branching and looping, command line arguments, and also user defined functions. Finally, we have the coding section. In this, we have only one question, and that question might be regarding a problem, like finding the reversal of a string or finding the factorial of a number. And you are expected to write a program to generate the required output by using the languages like C, C++, Java, Perl, or Python. So these are the concepts covered in TCS NQT 2020. For all of you who are viewing this video, we have prepared a document listing all the topics that I mentioned earlier. The link will be available in the description below. If you want to qualify the exam, the practice is a must. So do sign up for our mock test and the link will be available in the description below. And for those of you who are appearing for TCS NQT, we are releasing daily free video lectures covering all the concepts. So do subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep track of our playlist Target TCS.